Hello, welcome to another week and to Time Out with Tom. I'm Tom Truisi, your instructor for EDDN 613, School Personnel Functions. All right, I hope that everyone is settling in. I know we've had a lot of starts, start, starts and stops, excuse me, um, because we've had many holidays um, at the beginning uh, of this school year. By now, you should either be finishing very rapidly Module 4 uh, already or already on your way to completing uh, module five. All right. Uh, just a couple of reminders. Uh, one, I sent out an announcement this morning um, as a reminder to people that your first project, uh, and that is the teacher recruitment and selection um, exercise, um, is due on October 15th. Okay, by October 15th, I should say. And you can please just email that to me. But more importantly, uh, I have received a number of drafts um, from several of you, and uh, I'm very happy to see the progress that you're making. Just a couple of general points. Try to make the documents as specific and authentic as possible, meaning, um, as far as your ad is concerned, really do model it after the kind of ad you'd see either in the New York Times personnel section or um, Ed Week or some other education related journal. All right? Um, construct the ad and then plop it right in there. Okay? Uh, some other pointers. Your questions, um, this often comes up, the questions that you're using for your interview team. All right? Make them thoughtful, make them specific. Instead of just, you know, tell us about yourself or how would you integrate technology into the classroom, be a little bit more specific than that. Try to give some situational questions such as, imagine um, you receive a phone call from an angry parent and um, they're, um, they're suggesting that um, their child failed and that this is the first time they're hearing about it, right? What do you do to follow up on that? You know, make them thoughtful, make them meaty, okay? Um, even with uh, the performance assessments, if, if you're having your, your teachers uh, your teacher candidates write a uh, an essay, uh, or you're having them do a um, a demo lesson. You know, lay it out. Be very very specific about what they're. Don't say they can teach whatever they want. No, give them something to to teach. All right, you're advertising for a specific position. Make the um, make the um, exercises or paces that you're going to put them through very very specific and very very guided. Okay, but I'm sure you'll all do very, very well. If you have any questions, please, you can always pick up the phone. All right, a number of you have, and I appreciate it. And continue to send me your drafts, okay? This week, we're going to begin to look at the, um, the whole issue of retention and, um, uh, and, uh, and, and how difficult that is, particularly in urban areas. And they say that one out of three teachers just doesn't make it. And there are many reasons for that. But the thing to think about is what can you do as a potential school leader to help our students, our teachers, excuse me, stay focused, get the help they need, and feel like they are part of an educational family. That's really, that's really the key, all right? And each one of you has your own experience, and I, I look forward to hearing about it. Okay, from, for now, I'm gonna sign off. Keep those cards and letters coming and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.